Isaiah chapter 53 verses 4 to 5, Niv. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. You will see these verses again in a later devotion because they are jam-packed with good insights on healing. What I want to draw to the forefront today is this, the death of Jesus on the cross, the blood he shed and the stripes he took, paved the way for you to be healed in spirit, soul, and body. Not a single part of your being was left uncovered by his sacrifice. He paid for your sins with his blood, the punishment he suffered was for the peace of your soul, and the stripes that he took were for the healing of your body. Jesus suffered and died once for it all, and that was enough. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 10, 14. His blood was so pure it didn't just cover up your sins, but it completely removed them. His stripes were so deep that there was no sickness or disease that wasn't swallowed up within them. His punishment was so severe that not even the consciousness of sin, no guilt or shame, should ever torment your mind and steal your peace. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 2. He covered it all spirit, soul, and body. You can't separate spirit, soul, and body from the cross. They are inseparable. When you were born again, you believed that your sins were forgiven and you received forgiveness. You did that by faith in Jesus. Based on today's verses, you can clearly see that healing and deliverance were also provided for you on the cross, so now you can believe and receive them in the same way you received forgiveness by faith in Jesus' blood, suffering, and stripes. Once and for it all, 